The next property of logs says that if you have a number of the form, if you have a logarithm of the form, let's say this time I take the base b of a to the power m, right? Then this actually is going to be equal to, you can take the m outside equivalent to m times log of a to the same base b, right? So actually this can be derived from exactly this property, right? Now what we can do here is that we can write the left hand side. Now I'm going to quickly uh, derive this for you. The left hand side is equal to the log base b of a into a into a and I'll continue to multiply this m times. Right now I know that the log of product of two numbers is equal to the sum of their respective logs, right? So I'm going to get this equal to log base b of a for this one plus log base b of a for this one and I will continue to add these again I will get m of these right and because I get m of these and they're all the same I'm going to end up with m times log base b of a right so basically uh, what happens is that uh, the power of this number right you can bring it out so uh, let's take an example if let's say you have a number uh, which looks like this log base uh, let's say 3 of um, of 25 right we can write this as log base 3 of 5 squared right so we can bring out this power to outside so this is going to be equal to 2 times log base 3 of 5 right so this is what this is uh, how I can write uh, you know I, I can write a log when this number has a power right now if let's say I have a number of the form log base b of 1 by a right then actually this is equal to log base b of a to the power minus 1 right and just like I did here I can bring the power out right I can bring the m out now m in this case is minus 1 so we get this equivalent to negative log base b of a right so the power 1 by a is negative of the power of the log of a right next the next property the next property it looks like this the log base b of a is equal to 1 upon log base uh, log base a of b right so I, when I interchange the base and the number of uh, the number whose log I am taking right these two are reciprocals of each other now let's take the left hand side equal to x right now if I convert this into the the standard form the power form if I remove the log then this gives me b to the power x is equal to a right I can rewrite this as b equals the 1 by xth power of a right now if I take log log base a of both sides I get log base a of b equals log base a of a to the power 1 by x right now I know that if I take the log base a of a to some power I will just straight away get the power itself so this becomes equal to 1 by x right therefore if x is log base b of a then 1 by x is log base a of b right hence I have proved that when I exchange the base and the number whose base I am taking it just becomes reciprocal next for the next one let's say we have um, let's say we have um, log base uh, base b of a right we can write this as log of a divided by log of b to another base c right now this becomes an interesting property why because now I can introduce a completely new base right and I can express this log in this form right now how do I prove this let's take the left hand side equal to x right now because this is equal to x I can say that b to the power x equals a right 
Now, let's take log C on both sides. Let's take the log of C of left hand side and log of C of right hand side. So we get log base C b to the power x equals log base C of A, right? Now I can bring this x out. I get x log C of B, log base C of B equals log base C of A and x which was nothing but this thing log base b of a from here i get x is equal to log base c of a divided by log base c of b right so uh, simply put if let's say i have a situation like this log uh, base 2 of 5 right then i can rewrite this as log base 10 of 5 divided by log base 10 of 2 right then the next property is log uh, let's say this time the base has a power base to the power m of a right this is equivalent to 1 by m 